Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are returning to episode number 13 of our Let's Play series, playing as Spain in the game Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Uh, this is in the midst of a war against the United States of America. We lost a fleet action a couple of episodes ago, which felt like it might have been the decisive turning point against us in the war, but now we're actually doing well uh, in another fleet action where we might turn the tables on the Americans completely if we are able to pursue and successfully defeat them. Right now, we've got about a marginal victory after we had a torpedo, or I guess light cruiser death charge at the enemy. Um, actually, no, it was a torpedo boat. Um, but uh, now we're going to see how things play out. We've got our ships organized in a nice line of battle, and so things seem to be shaping up much more cleanly than in the last time we fought. Uh, but we'll see how it plays out uh, in this episode. Uh, this was taken from a live stream on my Twitch channel, so if you're interested in those, there's a link in the description where you can find that channel and follow me over there for more stuff like this if you want to catch it live. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump back into Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, our Spanish Let's Play campaign in the midst of the Spanish-American War. I'm turning the battle line in to try and engage the enemy. I would really like to deal with this torpedo boat, though. It'd be great if you guys could, like, get a couple hits on it, finish the bastard off. Because, as witnessed, torpedoes will ruin your fucking day. Overpen. As much as I'd like to target their more powerful ships behind them... We're turning the line into the enemy formation, though. There's our one other battleship just running away. Seals way back there too. Okay, we got a nice penetration there. Penetration and fire. Okay, that should do it. There she goes. Morris is sinking, so they're down to one torpedo boat. Is that incoming? Yeah, so there's enemy fire coming from over here. So there's some more enemy ships over in this direction. Let's turn the line this way. They, their protected cruisers are somewhere out this way. So let's not get ourselves too committed. We'll circle back and have our line swing back the other direction. So that we can pass their line. but staying somewhat organized. I'm assuming this is a protected cruiser out here. Oh, yeah, it is, but it's staying out here, issuing smoke. They don't seem to be closing with their... Well, I call it a protected cruiser. I think they're technically designated light cruisers in the game, but in real life in this era, they were still protected cruisers, which basically means they're a cruiser that has some armor, but it's not considered, you know, worthy of the battle line or whatever. Got a nice hit there on the Brooklyn. It looks like we might sink the armored cruiser Brooklyn. She's flooding pretty, pretty extensively. They must not have like, reinforced bulkheads because their ships do seem to be a little bit glass jawy. Not that we haven't lost our fair number of ships, but I do feel like ours don't just go to 10 after one or two hits. So the line is going to turn in sequence, which means one ship at a time. I don't know if that's the technical term. Hauser would probably have it. We also put some damage into North Carolina. These are inaccurate naming conventions, by the way. Yeah, like when these 8-inch gun shells penetrate these CAs, they're devastating. So Brooklyn is surviving. They pumped out some of the water. They got all the way to the verge of sinking, but they're still in the fight. The one remaining enemy torpedo boat might be trying to cut ahead of our line. Brooklyn is sinking. 
we're going to turn the line a little bit to deal with this TB. I don't want to. All right. I'm more worried about the CLs. Like even if one of their TBs gets in and sinks a battleship, that's not as disastrous if we sink a question mark sinks. I, I don't know what, what we sunk, but something sank due to heavy flooding. But I'm more worried about those four CLs tearing us up. The TB disappeared from sight. We can't see it anymore. Which makes me nervous. Press the advantage, you say? But we're going to get ourselves killed. I think they're retreating. What do I have? What's my speed? 15.8? They can, oh, they're 19.5. They can get away from us easy. It's dumb that I have to, like, hit these percentages. It, it's clearly going to be a victory in terms of the result. Like, if you sink a battleship in an armored cruiser and you didn't lose anything in return, that's a victory. I don't care what the what the nominal requirements were. All right. There's the TB. See if it comes in to charge us. Oh shit, there's a battleship out here. So it's screening that battleship. So we were engaging our battleships against their armored cruiser line, but now we're about to engage their uh, their battleship line by the likes of it. By the looks of it. And our line is in a little bit of chaos. Nice penetration fire. They can't. They're almost in torpedo range. Can we finish it off before it has a chance to... Torpedo detonation would be nice. Curious who he would shoot at. I would think he'd shoot at San Yosef. Can we pause? All right. So what are we looking at here? Also, I forgot their battleships have torpedoes. Mine do not, so... Torpedo detonation would be nice, then they wouldn't even be able to shoot it. A lot of overpens. Thank you for the follow, Jackson Z. Or, sorry if I'm not paying a ton of attention right now. I'm this is a weird... He could fire down the throat of my San Yosef. It's kind of a weird situation from a positional perspective to be. No, we're playing as Spain. So I guess it might be San Joseph and not San Joseph. I, I don't know. All right, he's going to probably fire his torpedoes at me now. I would if I was him. I would have fired already. There they go. We're not going to do the stop all engines thing. We'll try and turn into it. I don't think it'll work. There's two fish. Any chance we can dodge one? It doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll get a dud. Those are not good angles. We got two. One was a dud.
Is this the lead? Who's the lead of the formation now? Fuck. Is it really going to pull like some bullshit where some ship back here is and everything's going to go to chaos? No, it's, it's this one. Okay. All right. So he fired his torpedoes. He got two hits. One was a dud. One hit. We might lose this battleship. We'll see. We're not moving at flank speed, which should help. Barney, why are you still alive? She's sinking. So the rest of the formation is turning in sequence. Colorado's got a little bit of damage. We're damaging their fleet, but... A little worried about San Joseph. If they can maintain... If that, if that damage doesn't spread beyond the, the bow... Might be okay. And so you go, why don't you pull back and circle back behind our fleet? Maybe we can get in. It doesn't seem like the flooding is spreading. Trinidad is probably the most beat up of our cruisers who are back here firing now. I don't know that I love having my cruisers engaging the enemy battleships. We are benefiting from the enemy battleships only of ten only only having ten inch guns. All right, so I think they got the flooding under control, and she's going to survive that torpedo hit. Thank God. Maybe we should switch our targets for our CLs over to the over, or for our CAs over to the CLs. Where are my other battleships? I guess we only had the two. The third one we withdrew. We are not doing much damage to the Colorado here. I don't think the Americans have good bulkheads. We might. I think we did do reinforced. So what have we sunk so far? We sunk a question mark. We sunk a battleship. I think we sank an armored cruiser, I think. So we lost the fleet battle last turn. I wouldn't say we have... It's kind of almost like we've got our T crossed in the sense that like we, we aren't in a clean battle line at the moment. They're in a cleaner one. They have two battleships left. We have three technically, but we did withdraw the other one because she was too badly damaged. I don't have any CLs to do a cruiser death ride. I don't really want to go CA versus CL. We're not going to dodge many torpedoes with CAs. Seems like we're staying just out of range of the majority of their secondaries. At least effective range. Wouldn't mind targeting their CLs, though. We don't have very good penetration odds here. We'll have the Consuego fall back in line with the fleet. No, you should follow. It 
I really hope he follows at the end and he doesn't do something stupid. Let's cut right. Maybe we can cut in behind the enemy CLs. Hey, we got a nice penetration over here on the Colorado there. Drampui, thanks for the follow. All right. The Draga got a nice little, nice little penetration. Colorado's dealing with some real flooding damage here. I don't think she'll sink, but looks like she's going to kind of come close. Well, she's got two more compartments. Three more compartments. That flooding is spreading. There's a chance, boys. Oh my god, another one. Another compartment. They must not have very good bulkhead design at all. Colorado, well, she looks like she's already sunk. Somehow she's still firing back. She's gonna go. She's gonna go! Yeah! Colorado down! That's two battleships down. Oh boy. They're down to one battleship. They've lost two. If I was them, I'd be running by now. If we get one more ship, we'll get the, the victory condition for us. Although I don't, like really, it doesn't feel like it should matter. Let's speed things up a little bit. Can San Joseph not... or San Joseph, can it not pump that water out of that lead compartment? I'd like to make the task force move more quickly. All right, they're, they're pounding the rear of our line pretty. All right, don't you dare get Consego in, in torpedo range. She's going to turn away, head away from him. Virginia's coming in behind us. But the whole formation is moving way too slow for my comfort. What are we moving at right about now? 11 knots. Nice broadside hit there for the Consuego on the uh, Virginia. Started a fire with a 12.5 inch shell there. Nashville sinking the rear of the enemy light cruiser line. So they got three more light cruisers, I believe. They're still considerably out of torpedo range. Virginia's funnels are gone, which is going to affect her ability to run. She's also slower than our fleet. Although, we'd have to detach our damaged battleship. So they've got... Actually, they have two CLs. They already lost one sunk. So they've got two CLs left and one battleship. And the Virginia's taking some damage here. Well, the enemy also hasn't really moved aggressively with their CLs either. Like, we're hitting them... I think a big part of our success in this fight was that we lined our fleet up in one long line of battle as, as they teach you at the Naval Academy and we maximized our gunfire on the enemy. So like they didn't in the last battle, we kind of collided with their fleet head on the bows of our ships. Like we didn't really get our T crossed cause they came in as well bow on, but they also didn't have, they were firing torpedoes, not guns. So all they did do is swivel around and fire. So I think that was a big part of, of where we struggled in the last battle here. All right. So we still haven't pumped that out. We're moving uh, 11 knots. I don't know how fast the Virginia can move with the damage she's taken. Looks like she's getting just out of our range. I'm going to just push this for a little bit and see if we can close the range a bit. I would like to finish off that last enemy battleship. How is he built? He as in the AI? It seems to be about the same percentages as us, honestly. All right, so we're forming up. Everybody's getting back in line. All 
right, the enemy CL is off here. Quincy off to our flank. We'll have to make sure to stay well out of torpedo range. We're going to turn and see if we can swing the whole battle line past Virginia. Remember, Virginia has torpedoes too, so we do have to be careful of that. Their battleships caught me by surprise with their fish last, last fight. Pa casemate destroyed. I gotta imagine by now our gun crews are pretty goddamn tired. Yeah, I mean, I think you could win if you have enough torpedo boats and light cruisers. You can definitely do very well, especially in the early game when gunnery is as inaccurate as it is. I think you can do very, very well. All right, Virginia, we're going to have all of our ships pass right by you. This was a much more competently fought battle on my part, I think. But again, we oh, they have two seals, not one. But we also didn't... Uh, have like five squadrons to manage. I uh, I sent off the dead weight and just kind of fought in one line of battle. Spain is learning! Yay! Use the guns. Although my fleet hasn't really formed up in quite as pretty of a line as I like to imagine. Alright, we gotta watch out for these CLs. They trace us. They do nothing. All right, so come on, guys. Can you finish the Virginia? I guess I could always send an armored cruiser in and try and torpedo it. We're starting a lot of fires on her. The minute that BB sinks, the seals will go torpedo runs? Maybe. All right, the line is forming up a little bit, a little bit prettier. They're turning away right now. The seals are. So we're going to turn into them. The opposite of what you're suggesting, Hauser. We're at the extreme range of our secondaries. I've only got one battleship here, so I'd l actually like to close the range a bit. I think the Quincy's going to follow the Portland in that turn. So I'm going to cut in behind the battleship and close that range. Who knows? Maybe we can even knock one of these C CLs out. What did they have? 12 battleships coming into this fight in the entire Navy? Quincy's a fire, but doesn't look like much damage. Let's make sure we stay out of torpedo range of the Virginia. We actually might cross her T from the rear. Come on, boys. Let's finish them off. We can do this thing. We can pull a Nelson. Be great if you hit a few times. Is that... Anybody know that 10% hit chance? Is that just for your main battery or does that include secondaries? Because it sure doesn't feel like we're hitting at that percentage. Some of our armored cruisers firing at the CL further out there. I wonder if the Virginia joined the CL formation or something. And 10% shot, not overall. Well, it doesn't feel like it. We are firing a lot of lead. 
We are not getting hit reports. The one other battleship of ours is, is hanging way back. I'm watching the lead CL. She's turning toward us. I'm trying to turn away. We're eating a lot of secondary fire. There we go. Over pen, secondary, 1200, fire started. Eat up some of those compartments, please. Portland doesn't look like she wants to close. He's turned back away. How about your... It'd be cool if your ammo just cooked off, you know? Their armor must suck if our 12 inches are overpenning. I mean, they are a battleship. It's not like they don't have armor here. Casemate destroyed on Portland, I think. This battle could have ended a long time ago if I just let him retreat. But I want that last battleship. Alright, we're getting some secondaries in into the fight here. Nice overpen with some flooding there with the 12.5 incher. It'll be interesting. I think she's done. The bottom looks like the bottom came out. Mission accomplished! Alright. So you can just end battle while you're still shooting at him? Alright. Let's go for the CLs. Let's see if they want to run or fight. If I can pick off more of those bastards, and I'd, I'd gladly do it. Right, let's stay on this side of the battleship. I don't want to ram her. Even though she's technically sunk, we can still take damage from her. If they're just going to shoot at me from line of breast... I'm pretty confident in our chances. A gunnery duel of a bunch of CAs versus CLs. Single hole, no bulkhead. What could go wrong? Yeah. Our ships do have reinforced bulkheads. Quincy just took a big hit. She's ablaze all the, all the midships. Their protected cruisers are, have hulls that look like lights, to be honest. Let's turn away. You're getting awfully close to torpedo range. Press end if she gets too close. I guess that would be a a nice way to cheese it if they throw fish in the water. She's definitely pressing home the attack, though. She's trying to get in there. Nice overpen flood. More flooding. Control tower damaged. I think Portland's done. Well, maybe not. They're really kicking in the... Uh, Flotation damage went way down and then just like immediately jumped back. Uh, let's do this. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Once the fish were in the water, it told me nope. All right, I guess that's that's fair. Let's detach. We're gonna turn in into the fish. Are you not moving? Why are you moving at three knots? Well, we're going to take a hit. I don't know why the ship is not moving. Actually, we might, we might avoid it. 
It's going to be close. Ooh, she missed. Uh, now what about the other ships in line? All right, she's going straight ahead, so she's fine. We'll just have to pay attention to that. Is, it, uh, is that another torpedo? It is. We'll keep your turn up. Yeah, we're not going to miss this one. I don't think. Nope. Maybe we'll get a dud. Yeah! All right. Portland's going down. You got to imagine they, they're like, fuck! A dud? Really? I know exactly how they feel. Oh yeah, we have torpedoes too. I forgot about that. One of our fish is away. I don't think it's going to hit, but it's away. All right, we're going to have to cut into the right because otherwise we'll collide. Why did this thing veer off to the right? I swear I just saw it like move. Wow, we got a, they got a pretty good gun hit there. That was like a 200 damage. So, sometimes torpedoes malfunction. No shit. Just being a smart ass, I know. Look like the gyro one or something. Alright, Quincy's already taken some structure damage. Make sure we don't collide with this underwater object. We can end the battle now, I guess we could just do that, right? Or do we want to try and finish him off? Take her down. Stack wipe the enemy fleet. Come on, guys. Shoot more accurately. You guys have enough gunnery practice, although I guess you're probably tired by now, huh? She is trying to run away. Come on, boys. You've burned through enough of the ammo. Oh, shit. We burned through. We have no HE ammo left on one of these armored cruisers. That's weird. Why is our nine tenths of a kilometer longer than theirs? Oh shit. Is this the rest of the formation? It is. Thanks for the follow, bud. Oh, I didn't mean to click. Oh. I meant to unpause. That was just. That was it's 12 and I'm tired. All right, so the Conception had heavy damage going in. The Trinidad Valencia, uh, I did as well. Santa Teresa and, and Sedora, we didn't even fight with. And the Toledo sank the enemy battleship and then died valiantly. So we did lose the, uh, we did, I did not increase the length of the battles or barrels. Some of them might be pre-designed. So I'm not sure if, why they would all have longer barrels, um, or higher millimeter, whatever. Um, we lost the Toledo. So that was the one ship we actually lost in the battle. The enemy lost three battleships, one armored cruiser. Wait, they had more armored cruisers that ran away. I guess I forgot about that. So the enemy lost three battleships, one armored cruiser, three light cruisers, and two torpedo boats. So nine ships to one. That's a pretty decisive victory there. 2,000 enemy crew to just 92 of our own. 9,000 victory points to just 500 of theirs. We fully avenged ourselves and then more for the fleet battle in the month before. That's a smashing victory. Worthy of Nelson. God damn right it is. We are winning peace treaty. The United States government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Should we accept? What do you guys think? Do we want to go to peace now? Do we accept? 
Or do we keep fighting? What about the invasion? Well, we haven't even taken Puerto Rico yet. You're right, Hauser. We should wait at least six more turns. We've got to at least take Puerto Rico, right? You'd accept peace, Jellico? Whoa there, farmer. Whoa. Easy on the death to America chance. All right. So uh, I think we fight to the end, right? Will we get PR in the treaty? I don't even know how making peace works in this game. I'm just worried it's going to be like, oh, we accepted a white peace, you know? I'm assuming we'll get another opportunity if we win. Right? Like if we keep fighting, I'm assuming every so many turns, I don't know guys, but I'm assuming every so many turns you'll get a chance. I wish it told you if you'd get to like negotiate certain conditions. Cause if we just accepted a white piece, I'd be fucking, pe I'd be pissed. No, you can't save scum charcoal. Doesn't even let me. I'm forced to make this decision before I can save. You get a monetary number. Is, so it works the same way that Rule of the Waves does? Um, let's, let's at least fight till we take Puerto Rico. You won't always get to choose if the peace actually occurs. Let's fight to the end. And let's just see what Puerto Rico... We want to finish the in invasion of Puerto Rico. All right, so that was a pretty decisive victory there. I can see why, like, after losing three battleships, the United States may be like, hey, guys, can we, uh, can, we, can we have a negotiated settlement now? All right, eight transports lost. We are blockading the U.S. as well, remember. At least we were. I don't know if we still are. Is there a way to tell? Blockades, power projection... Yeah, so we're we've got double the is that because of the ships in the eastern? Forty two I don't get the power projection thing. It's gotta be the battleships, right? Or because they've deployed too much of their fleet to the Car Caribbean? Also remember we do have ships off the Pacific coast. Hey Mexicans, how you doing? All right, so we just won a pretty freaking awesome victory over the U.S. there in that last battle. The naval invasion is two out of six turns, so we're still working on that. The... Ooh, look at our naval prestige. 69. Nice. Admired. Mm. The Americans are respected. Really? Because I don't know that we should respect them. Just saying. They're down to 34 CAs, 37 CLs, 45 TBs, and 10 battleships. We are at 3 BBs, 32 CAs, 37 CLs, and 43 torpedo boats. We are also building 39 ships. Of those, they are all light cruisers and torpedo boats. Navy power rating, 18% for us, 22% for them. Total tonnage for them, 316, 296 for us. They're building 80 ships. Yes, there's nothing new about that. That has been going on for a while. We have a lot of money in the bank. We're plus 4 million per turn with 246 million in the bank. We are expanding our dry, our docks, our max shipyard size to 24,000 tons. I don't know what the French are doing. Why are they humiliated? What's going on with the French? Negative 83. Holy fucking shit. They're not even fighting a war. What's the American uh, unrest level? They're content. Our people are very content. They're like, ha ha, you are doing well. But yeah, I want to take fucking Puerto Rico. We shouldn't have even had to take Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico should be ours. If this game was historically accurate. All right. I don't understand that. Do they just want to give the Americans a, a region? 
I really don't know. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. We wrap the battle up. We keep the war going and we see how things progress. Uh, but we will see how things progress in our next episode. Until our next episode, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.